G'day, we're here for race two of the Queensland DF65 Interclub Championship sailed at Springfield Lakes. Going in for a start. What's interesting here is we have 26 boats starting on a very big start line. Always important to have a clean start, but always important to try and get the windward end if at all possible. And um, you see here 314 and 52 get away pretty cleanly. Also, as important is to make sure your boat continues in these light winds to move forward through the water pretty quickly. And um, you can do that by bearing away and easing your sails off and working those shifts so you're in the maximum pressure possible. 462 is leading the way out at the moment and sailing pretty cleanly. Followed by 56, 52, and 514. Going up to the top mark, we've got a gate at the top mark to separate the fleet. Uh, this light breeze, this light, light variable breeze from the southeast is moving around around about 30 degrees. Uh, the wind is varying from about zero to roughly 10 kilometers an hour at the moment. Make sure you stay, avoid collisions and stay clean. When going downwind, you'll notice that 5.2 in particular has a very good knack of staying in the puffs, which keeps her slightly ahead of the pack. So just remember to follow the wind lines down rather than doing the, the normal run, run line. This is a team's event, this interclub event. So we've got three clubs uh, represented here today. Uh, this is the fourth um, event for the series. That's the final event. Uh, and we have Paradise Radio Yacht Club winning the event at the moment with Springfield Lakes and Redlands in close pursuit. Top five boats from each club will uh, participate in determining the overall results. Interesting what you see here is some very good covering from um, 370. 370 did the beginners to master class just recently and is sailing very quickly through the water. Uh, so we'll sail Craig. Sometimes it's also better to, um, if, you, if you're looking to go to a certain part of the course, sometimes it's worth um, get, taking, you know, bearing away and going behind boats rather than going, getting stuck underneath their, uh, their leeward side. And uh, 370, um, unfortunately, tacks on a starboard hand boat and is forced to go across onto the left hand side of the course whereas 5-2 continues across to the favoured right hand side to pick up a shift and work his way back up to the top mark in second place behind 329. 329 had an ex exceptionally good start and has got away. She's roughly oh, 20 metres uh, ahead of 5-2 at the moment. And going up to the top mark. Beautiful conditions here. We did have a cyclone come in the afternoon, which um, did affect the results and also the uh, the racing as the racing was 
finished early as a result of uh, the cyclonic conditions we experience with um, roughly three inches of rain in a matter of hours. But despite that, there was a lot of um, jovial, jovial, uh, friendly camaraderie. These are terrific events with, with big fleet sailing as you have to be on your wits and um, ensure that you're sailing as cleanly as possible, but more so sailing into those breeze lines. If you get caught back in the pack, it's difficult to catch up as there's wind disturbance and also Lots of boats to go around and avoid. Coming to the bottom mark, we've got uh, in first place, we have 329 um, who has been affected by a bit of a, a uh, knock there and he's coming back on a knock and there's only a boat length in it now between 329 and 52. 329 recently won the Victorian State Championships 5-2 is the current Queensland champion, champion, having won that event eight years. For eight years, with one uh, year being taken by 329. That was the 2023 state championships. So we've got two state champions coming up to the, uh, the finishing line here. Well done 329, well done 52. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we have oodles of information here for you to view. We have a photo of the winning boat which follows. Look forward to seeing you on the water. Bye for now.